Good morning. It's Wednesday and welcome today to our daily prayers. In my life, Lord, be glorified. And sometimes what I do is we sing that chorus in my life and then we add on extra verses. So maybe a good one today is in our homes, Lord, be glorified. Our prayer is the relationships between whoever you're living with um, and acknowledging some of us may be living by ourselves, but maybe it, we want to think of our the connections we do have with family and friends. And we pray that God will be glorified in it by the way we live out his love with others, some of whom will be people of faith and some of whom won't. But our prayer is that God is glorified in the ways that we react with each other. In our homes, Lord, be glorified. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so once again, our reading Ephesians 1 at verse 18. Paul writes, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. What Paul is basically saying is the very power that raised Christ from the dead is the same power that can come into our lives. His incomparably great power for us who believe. The very resurrection power that we rejoice at Easter is the power that's at work in our lives. And I hope that encourages you. I hope that speaks to, so to say, as Paul would say, the eyes of your hearts, that you may know a little more of this as you begin to understand the extent of God's love for you and the power that he has available by his Holy Spirit for you then you may be strengthened today. A space for your prayers now. And so to the very one who made access to our Heavenly Father possible, Jesus Christ, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so once again, may you know the eyes of your heart be enlightened with God's grace, love and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore. Amen.